Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, completing this square, what we're going to work on is writing this from vertex form, our standard form to vertex form. You guys should already know how to identify the vertex, um, but that's not what I'm really concerned about. I'm mainly concerned about, Ryan, that your ability is to complete the square. So I do have two of these problems that are kind of similar to the one I did, five and six. One through four are much easier for you guys to um, get through, but we'll go through the most difficult so you guys have something to base off of. The first thing we do, ladies and gentlemen, when we're completing the square, A has to equal one, positive one. You notice on question five and six, A does not equal positive one. So you have to follow this first step. That first step is to group your quadratic and your linear term. The reason why we want to group our quadratic and linear term is because we want to factor out so A can equal the positive one. So what I'll do is y equals, I'll factor out a negative 3. That allows me to have, that allows me to now have a quadratic inside the red parentheses with A equals 1. Right? You guys see how questions 1 through 4, A is all equal to 1? Right? But 5 and 6 wasn't, so you have to do that first step. OK? So that's good. That's all you have to do for 5 and 6 extra, basically. So now. Yes? Why wouldn't you factor out the one? Because you could. There's nothing wrong, but that's not what we're trying to. I'm not, we're not practicing factoring. The only thing we're trying to do is factor out the negative 3 so A is 1. That is our objective, just to get A is 1. Our objective is not factoring the problem. Where our objective is to get A equal to 1. So now the next thing is finding the value B that completes the square. So to do that, you do B divided by 2 and square it. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, A. Right? Looking inside that quadratic, you have a, b. So b is your linear, the coefficient of your um, linear term. So what we'll have is 2 divided by 2, square it, which equals 1. Here, let me just do it all in red. Sorry? OK. Does that make sense? Yes. 